Are you working with a brand new, new and improved SharePoint and Microsoft list forms and you need to add another column or another field without jumping back to the list? I'm gonna show you how, stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Okay, let's get that timer rolling, let's get to it. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here to forms, this is our new forms area, and you're gonna pick an existing form, and let's say you need to add a new field about soda. You wanna see if they like soda or not. So you're gonna go add new field, click on choice. We're gonna call it soda, and we're gonna say likey, question mark. And the choices are gonna be, well, yes, no, and then we're gonna get rid of the third choice, and then we're gonna click away, and it's saving changes and we can preview and we can go in here and we can do the thing and actually we got to go back here real quick and we got to make sure that our branching we got branching on here make sure that after we see yep they answer candy and then we're gonna go yep soda into form so let's preview it we're gonna go uh, put in a personalization we're gonna say shoes size 11 and then we got candy and then soda is right after that we'll say yes and we'll say yes we'll submit and then let's see what happens let's see what happens we'll refresh we'll refresh here and we see there we go yes to candy yes to soda we did it we added that new field all right now let's slow it down and take a look at what's going on. And we, if we have time, we might even talk about a little bit of a gotcha. Um, if you happen to remove, um, remove that field and then try and re-add it with the same name. Doesn't necessarily like that too much. Before we do that, big news, we are almost at 4,000 subscribers. It's because of you. Thank you for your support. Please, if you find anything that you like in this video, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll hit that 4,000 mark before you know it. All right, let's get on with it. Let's go ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and show you that gotcha real quick. So let's say I decide that I want to get rid of this and I'm doing it from inside the form. So um, we showed you how to add it. We're going to show you how to remove it and then add another one. And what happens if you re-add it with the same name? I know it's kind of weird, but maybe you're just you know, doing a bunch of editing, you didn't like the field and you removed it, then you added it back with the same name. So here we go. Um, we've got the soda, right? Let's say we don't like this. We want to get rid of it. So here we can click on it and we can go to the little triple dots, triple dots, go to settings. And then we can say, just like you would in any other uh, field, we're going to delete it, right? So we'll say delete. Remember any of your data that's stored in that column is going to go away. And then we click out, save changes, but here we're still gonna see that field until we click out, okay, and we click away, and then it, see it, then it disappeared, all right? So there you go. So if we close this and we refresh, we can see, yeah, we can see that that soda field is gone, okay? Now, let's say you decide to go add soda back using the forms. So we go in, and we're going to go down, add a new field like we did before. This is basically a review of how to add it. We're going to choose choice as the type of field. And we're going to name it the same thing. We're going to name it soda. We'll even give it the same description if I can type. All right. And we'll go the same choices. We'll say yes. And we'll also say no. And we'll get rid of the third option. All right. And there we go. We have that field added again. It's going to save the changes there it is and let's see what happens here when we preview it we'll add some personalization the item we're going to go t-shirt this time um, we'll go medium and then it goes to candy right we'll say yes and soda yes so we should be looking for dfdf we'll have candy yes soda yes submit and watch what happens so we are going to refresh We'll see the new line item show up. See how it took the yes for candy? It did not take the yes for soda. So that is a weird gotcha. Chances of you running into that, probably not likely, because if you delete a column, you're probably not gonna re-add it with the same name. But if you do, this this might happen. So there you go. Um, we talked about how to add the new column within the form. We talked about how to remove it. It's a little bit clunky, uh, but 
the long and short of it is if you are in the form and you add a field or remove a field, you're going to be doing it inside the larger list, it, you know, inside the list itself. Um, as you could see, when we went in to uh, make edits on those columns, you know, like this, uh, this one here, if we go to go to settings. This is the same look and feel that you get when you're inside the list adjusting or making edits to that column. All right. Hopefully this has been helpful. Let me know if you like this, if you're using it, what you like, what you dislike, and do the very best you can with what you got. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.